I'm working on a project right now that has a couple of uh, hand-wound toroidal inductors and once you make those and, and get them tweaked and get the windings scrunched just right, uh, I thought it'd be nice to put some kind of glue or cement on there to, to fix them in place. Now you could use like an epoxy or something like that, but um, most of those types of things have a pretty high dielectric constant. Um, it really, you'd, you'd prefer something with a low dielectric constant so you don't increase the, the inner winding capacitance. Um, polystyrene is a good plastic for uh, you know something with a low dielectric constant. You could dissolve that in some kind of solvent uh, that dries in a reasonable amount of time and, and put it on there and, and get a nice polystyrene film to hold things in place. And in fact there's a commercial product that's pretty much exactly that uh, called Q-Dope. Um, although if you have the ingredients handy it's pretty easy to make your own uh, and make it the way you want and uh, have it right away. Now there's a lot of different solvents that ought to work, um, toluene, methyl ethyl ketone, uh, acetone. Um, you can pretty much pick one based on how fast it'll dry, you know, for your application. Um, as long as polystyrene's soluble in it, which that's a lot of different solvents. Um, other than that, I mean, I guess, you know, safety concerns and uh, the drying times really all you have to worry about compatibility with whatever tool you want to use to apply it to. In my case, I'm going to use ethyl acetate. It's got a slower drying rate than acetone, but faster than toluene, uh, pretty similar to methyl ethyl ketone, uh, which it's often sold as a substitute for. I'd like to make about 100 grams of a 30% solution. Um, ethyl acetate has a density of about 90% of that of water, so that works out to something like 78 milliliters, and then to that I'll add 30 grams of polystyrene. All right, this should dissolve. Ooh, yep, pretty, pretty quick. It's mostly air, so that's why it uh, goes in there so fast. Yeah, Now let's bottle that up. After uh, looking at my bottle sizes, I decided on 10, 10 grams, uh, which is 7.8 milliliters of ethyl acetate and uh, 3 grams of the packing pellets. Yeah, I've got to put it on super thick. I mean, the solvent's the bulk of it, but you don't need a real thick film to hold that stuff in place. You know, it's not, not like you're going to be taking it off-roading or anything. Hopefully. Maybe you are. All right, so as simple as that. I uh, probably use this stuff for a lot of other things around the shop. Uh, you can make it thicker or thinner as you wish. Um, I mean, saw some folks, I was Googling around on this, and I saw them using it to waterproof paper to take with them when they're caving and that kind of thing. So, tons of applications. Uh, if you uh, enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.